Hello everyone, my name is Amanda Thomas and I'm an attorney here at Allegheny Immigration Group. Today's video is about the new and emerging complications regarding the rules for immigration in the COVID-19 vaccine. Vaccine requirements are part of a larger body of immigration law relating to admissibility. The rules for admissibility create a bare minimum requirement for health and character that apply to all immigrants, regardless of the basis for their immigration. One such admissibility standard are those related to health. This is particularly relevant in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. Typically, an intending immigrant must undergo a medical exam to make sure that they meet these basic health requirements. Immigration medical exams have always included vaccination requirements. But as of October 2021, the United States began requiring that intending immigrants receive an FDA or WHO approved COVID-19 vaccination in addition to all of the other required vaccinations before a visa or green card can be issued. You can find information about general vaccine requirements by checking the CDC's website. You can also find out which COVID vaccines are acceptable by checking the CDC or WHO website. I will include links to this information in the box below. Generally, the US does not require all doses of a multi-dose vaccine to be administered before a medical exam can be completed. Typically, a first dose is administered and the medical exam is completed upon the contingency that you will finish the prescribed course at a later date. This is not the case for the COVID vaccine. The new policy is that an intending immigrant must be fully vaccinated before the medical exam can be completed and therefore before a green card or visa can be issued. The timing of the multi-dose COVID vaccines can be a potential logistical problem. Most are not given more than one month's notice before a consular interview or green card interview. For most multi-dose COVID vaccines, you are not considered fully vaccinated until 14 days after your second dose. For Pfizer, you must wait 21 days between the first and second dose. And for Moderna, you must wait 28 days between the first dose and the second dose. This means that it is often not possible to complete a full multi-dose COVID vaccine if you wait to begin the course after you have been notified of when your interview will be. You can and should be working on getting fully vaccinated well before you get an interview notice. If you do find yourself in a bind, the one dose Johnson & Johnson or Janssen vaccine is acceptable if it is available in your home country. There are exceptions to this vaccination requirement, but these exceptions are for very specific circumstances. This means that most people are and will be subject to the vaccine requirement. Blanket waivers, however, do exist. A blanket waiver is a waiver that automatically applies to a group of people in common circumstance. In this situation, these are age, contraindications, and if the vaccine is not routinely available in your home country. If a blanket waiver is applicable, the physician will note so in your medical exam. It should also be noted that the Pfizer vaccine has emergency approval for children ages five to 15. And so if you are immigrating with your child, your child will have to get the Pfizer vaccine if it is available in your country. Another reason for a blanket waiver is contraindications such as health conditions that make the vaccine not medically recommended. There will also be a blanket waiver applied if the vaccine is not considered routinely available in your country. 
However, what is considered not routinely available is a complicated rule, and it appears that at least one approved vaccine is considered routinely available in most countries. Other waivers are discretionary, such as religious exemptions. A discretionary waiver must be applied for and approved and are, quite honestly, difficult to receive. I know that the COVID vaccines can be a hot topic, but the United States is requiring these vaccines for most people. If you refuse the vaccine or you do not have an approved waiver, you can potentially be denied your green card or visa. Finally, booster shots are becoming recommended in a lot of countries, including the United States. As of the date of this video, the U.S. has not issued immigration policy on booster shots. This means that there is no requirement for a booster at this moment. However, it could become a possibility in the future. This video is about the vaccine requirements to be issued a green card or family-based immigrant visa. This video is not about the rules regarding testing, vaccination status, or other ability to be issued a visitor's visa or any other type of non-immigrant visa. If you are interested in more videos discussing other issues related to admissibility, such as criminal history, or other non-COVID related health admissibility issues, let me know down in the comments. This video is not meant as legal advice. Immigration law is very complicated and very circumstantial. I cannot give legal advice about your specific situation unless I know the circumstances of your particular matter. Please contact me if you need help with consular processing, preparing for your green card interview, questions about the medical exam, or anything else related to immigration.